Rawr. Everybody get on the floor. Rawr. Everybody do the dinosaur. dinosaur. Ooh. Oh, man. I used to tweet that song. You boom, used to boom. tweet that song? Yeah, I used to do it from the SCG Twitter account when they previewed the dinosaurs. Wow, I'm pretty boom, sure boom. they... Boom, shaka laka laka boom. Is that why you boom, don't boom. get to use the That's Twitter That's correct. Yeah, I'm banned from the Twitter because <laughs> of that. <laughs> There's a lot of dinosaur emojis in the lyrics of that song. Boom, boom. <laughs> shaka laka boom, boom. Uh, this Look, they got a lot of likes and retweets, okay? Yeah. That's all. That's what it's all about. That's my life boiled down in a nutshell. It's just true. Say something funny, get a few likes. Here's Thunderherd Migration, revealing, I believe, Ripjaw Raptor. Man, we've come a long way from rampant growth, I'll tell you what. Yeah. It has been, it feels like you it's must, been forever. You must play dinosaurs in order to play rampant growth now. It's a good flavor, at least. Oh, Look sure. That. It's a cool card. I'm just saying. It also allows for a, the light splash, which I like. The light blue splash. Yeah. Rob Vanman, he's your team of dinosaurs player. There is a Knight of Malice for Collins Mullen. Joe Zappacosta is playing Affinity. And Sean Crowley is playing Death and Taxes. There is Ripjaw Raptor. Yeah, this card, uh, Ripjaw Raptor, is very good against decks like Mono Red. Uh, Goblin Chainwheeler, in particular, looks kind of embarrassing against it because <laughs> it's a must-deal damage ability. Um, you know, this is actually an ideal start from Collins's White Black Aggro deck, but it, it pales in comparison to what Ripjaw Raptor and a Rampant Growth look like. Whenever Ripjaw Raptor is dealt damage, draw a card. So, yeah, go ahead, Chain Whirler. Yeah. Uh, I do believe that if you have a Soul Scar Mage, uh, the it is the damage is replaced by negative one, negative one counters. Oh. So if you have a Soul Scar Mage and deal some damage to it, they don't get to draw the cards. At least that's what I was told last weekend when my buddy Phil was smushing a Rip Draw Raptor with his Mono Red deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, Colin's having a little bit more difficulty with the four mana, four or five. He'll take four. Here's the follow-up. It is Regasaur Alpha. And now that does make a 3-3 three, three haste creature, effectively, mm -hmm. because he gives all other dinosaurs haste. But he wants to play maximum defense. Yeah, and of course, with that knight being a 3-2 at right. this stage, not going to do much with that dinosaur token. So we will get a 3-3 three, three out here for Rob as we head back over to Collins, who is facing down some large dinos. You know what would be kind of cool? If the sagas just triggered on your upkeep like a normal magic card, well, I believe there's a reason they trigger after you draw, like in your draw step. I don't know what it is, but I imagine that's what's – I, I have to imagine there's a reason. I, I, I would guess that you're right, but come on. <laughs> Some sort of gameplay thing that we just haven't thought of, but that's not accidental. Colin's going to get a second 2-2 two -two Vigilant Knight token. I mean, it's looking really good for Rob right here, right? This Teamer Dinosaurs deck. It, it's not really that flashy. Like, there are some interesting weird cards in it, like it has Nissa Steward of Elements, which can surprise kill opponents out of nowhere. It is particularly good against Blue-White Control because it's a Planeswalker that can accrue advantage, uh, tick up scry to fix your draws, and just kill you sometimes. Uh, but for the most part, his deck looks like just a bunch of medium-sized dinosaurs. But this little number, this is the card I like a lot. Sweltering Suns. Yes. Three copies main deck. Uh, it looks like he has come prepared to punish these white X decks that play History of Benalia. Uh, and in matchups where it doesn't do anything, just cycles. Yeah, cycles. Uh, Joe Zappacosta wins game number one over Todd Stevens real quick. As Affinity's up a game over Green White Company. Ha! He draw a card off for Rip John Raptor 2. That's awesome. Nice. So Rob looking insanely far ahead here. Um, Collins Mullen actually has a fatal push though, which is kind of cool. Uh, since uh, he lost, you know, permanence, you have revolt. You know, you can stamp your bingo card again if you <laughs> want. But uh, yeah, so well, that's cool. Maybe a little surprised not to see the Regasaur Alpha attack that turn. Uh, he's playing around Settle the Wreckage, which sometimes this deck plays some number in the main deck. Okay. You know, he also uh, Rob may also not be familiar with this uh, black white deck since it's mostly a Magic Online concoction, and you know. He sees history of Benalia. Uh, he, you know, he sees history of Benalia. Uh, he sees four mana untapped. Maybe settle the wreckage. Sure, you never he, know. He can at least afford to play around it. Yeah, and he's so far ahead here. He was even drawing a card, you know. Uh, plus, you want the Registrar Alpha to stay in play as, as long as possible because it does give the rest of your dinosaurs haste. Chapter three of history of Benalia. Not, Nothing. Not gonna do much. The book is ended. Hmm. Couple lines here for Colin. Uh, 
or Collins, excuse me. Uh, he has a, a cast out which he can use to take care of the Registrar Alpha right now. Um, he sees the island. He may expect some weird type of counterspell protection. And maybe um, something like Essence Scatter and a Gate. Yep. Um, he also has the option to just like play Heart of Kieran. I wouldn't be surprised if he just tries to take care of the Registrar Alpha uh, as soon as possible. Let's go back over to Rob. Tapping four. Chandra. Pretty good. I, I would have really liked to have seen Rob attack with the Registrar Alpha first, but if he's ticking up to play a dinosaur and have haste, then this play is more than fine. Yep. If he expects settle the wreckage, you know, for example, you want your opponent to tap out, then you play Chandra. They don't have the ability to just use cast out, for example. Well, here's an attack of Ripper Draw Raptor. So he is very clearly playing around settle the wreckage. Yes, for sure. By making the attacks that he has over the past couple of turns. Uh, it looks like Collins will take the four. Yeah. Uh, a reasonable decision here. He really wants to get Chandra off the battlefield with the cast out. Chandra's taken care of. Let's go back over to Collins. And Rob's hand is stacked, too. He still has two braids, which can take out, you know, potential blockers like Heart of Kieran. Um, the problem being that if he does use the abrade, it turns on the fatal push to kill the Ripjaw Raptor. Scavenging Grounds is the land there for Collins. And now there is Lyra Dawnbringer. So I feel like two abrades are coming the way of Lyra Dawnbringer, and eight damage is going to Collins Mullins' face. Three. Six. Ripjaw Raptor stays tapped forever. <laughs> <laughs> Here is an attack. Smoosh for eight. Let's take a look at Regosaur Alpha. Haven't seen this one very much. A limited all-star, I'll tell you that much. So one one really cool thing about this Teamer Dinosaur deck uh, is that you would expect a deck like this to be playing uh, Llanowar Elves or Sylvan, or not Sylvan Kid, uh, Servant of the Conduit, yep. some way to ramp these out. Uh, instead of going that route, we are playing uh, Thunderheart Migration. Uh, not only to help fix for colors, but uh, also uh, so we don't have to play these little creatures so we can afford to play main deck Sweltering Suns, mm -hmm. which looked stellar on turn four of this game, or turn five, turn five. Mm, great in this matchup, turn that's six, for sure. Turn five. Oh, yeah, 100%. There are so many little creatures that Collins can play that can get under this dinosaur deck, and having uh, you know an answer like Sweltering Suns is a pretty big deal. Walking Ballista for one into Heart of Kirin. Well, Heart of Kieran cannot be crewed or blocked or blocked this this turn. That fatal push going to be targeting Ripjaw Raptor and uh, Walking Ballista getting thrown under the Registrar Alpha bus. Yep, there's your block. So. Shoot you for one. Yep, and that'll turn on Revolt. That's such an easy stamp on your bingo card. I'm just actively angry about You're gonna that. You're going to need to take that up with Nick Miller. You know, I don't make the cards. I just win the bingo. That's all I do. All I do is keep winning. Here's third Thunderherd migration. I wish there was a real prize that I would, <laughs> you know. I would. I, I want to feel bad about losing, but right now I just feel nothing. I can rub it in more. Eh. It'll get to you eventually, trust me. All right. Trust me. Sure. Once I hit bingo, I'll be like, we're tied. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bingo works, right? We're going to head back <laughs> over to Collins now. That's exactly how it works. Collins will be drawing here in just a moment. And now he's going to be playing a spell. Something like a Karn. All right, there is Karn. Not a whole lot of four drops in his deck, so that it had to be that one. So here he can make a chump blocker and still crew Heart of Kieran, so he has two potential blockers. Not only in case uh, Rob has a removal spell, but also in case he has another dinosaur to play that would gain haste from the Red Shore Alpha's ability. So expect a tick down. Well, you're going to get a tick up. Woo. Concealed right. Courtyard, Thopter Arrest. Of course, Thopter Arrest is going to go away. Concealed Courtyard is the land that Collins will play. It's a bit of a gamble. I don't hate it. I'm not going to say it's an incorrect play. You know, I, I just, you know, I think it's a little dangerous because now any giant dinosaur just kills you. That said, another giant dinosaur, probably you're not in great shape anyway. 
maybe you just go for the high octane play. How about how about that? Uh, you could draw three cards. <laughs> <laughs> let's take a look. Let's, let's let's take a look at combustible gear hulk. You you can have three cards. What's going on here? I'm All right. Really, honestly, I hope that he says, "Okay, spin the wheel. Hope it's three lands." But I'm pretty sure it's just three cards because any of his big key spells just kills Collins on the spot. So enters the battlefield. Target opponent may have you draw three cards if the player doesn't put. This is the community with the dinosaurs. Put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard, and combustible <laughs> combustible hawk deals damage to that player equal to the total converted mana cost of those cards. Okay. We are one heck of a big mana deck here, folks. There's a land. Commune with the dinosaurs. Found a, uh, a copy of Ripjaw Raptor. Mm -hmm. Now here comes Regressor Alpha. Going to turn on the heart of Kirin. There's a block. They'll trade. I don't love uh, this attack. He's been very patient about keeping his Regressor Alpha on the battlefield. Um, now add... Collins can minus the Karn, get the Thopter Arrest, and take care of the Gear Hulk. Whereas before, I think he had to target Register Alpha uh, to prevent more things from gaining haste. Makes sense. But now the, the Thopter Arrest can just take down the Combustible Gear Hulk. And then, you know, Collins can start making some blockers or, you know, uh, play some more creatures that will eventually get rid or, you know, eventually be able to block the Ripjar Raptor and, and follow up threats from uh, Rob. Let's see what this play is. Another copy of Heart of Karen. All right. That's it for Collins. We're going to head back over to Rob Vayman. He's got a lot of lands. Draw a card. While Collins doesn't have a white creature in play, uh, notably the enchantments Stop to Arrest and Cast Out are white and stay in play as removal spells, and uh, they will pump the uh, the Knight of, of Malice. A couple copies of Ripjaw Raptor here for Rob. He'll pass the turn back over to Collins. Again, both these teams undefeated here this weekend. I hope they play faster. <laughs> I want to see Turbo Depths. It's a tough matchup there for Jody. I think this is a pretty tough matchup for Collins as well. Yeah, me too. I feel like he's about to be in chum block mode, and that's a bad place to be against Ripjaw Raptor. Start drawing a bunch of cards. Which is what these decks really do like. Now, there are some really nice cards for him to draw, too. We, you know, more copies of Regasaur Alpha. Another copy of Combustible Gearhawk. We haven't seen Carnage Tyrant yet, but there are three of those in his deck. Whoo! Doesn't seem like it's getting any easier. <laughs> He's got two Galtas. Oh, yeah. Sup? <laughs> <laughs> Rob Vindman's trying to give beatdowns this weekend. Uh. All right, there's a Construct. I love a man with a plan. Same. Rob Vandeman is a Rob Vandeman with a plan. <laughs> I wish I had said that first. <laughs> I love a Vandeman with a plan would have been way better. There is a Knights, and we are going to shrink down a Ripjaw Raptor. Cool. Sweltering Suns kill you. Sweltering Suns kill you. I'm rooting for it. That's not quite. It's not quite kill you. No, nah, if he hadn't shrunk the, the, rip, the Ripjaw Raptor, but eh. Sweltering Suns, I'll draw two cards, kill your board. Heart of Kieran, I guess, can then trade with the Ripjaw Raptor, so that might not be that good. Let's see what this is. Commune again? You know. Take a look in a book. It's Galta. <laughs> <laughs> this may just be a land. No, nope, uh, it's Carnage Tyrant. No. Okay. It's way bigger. Yeah. Everything in this deck is big. Yep. Jeez. I will say, pretty important for him to have Thunderhurt Migration on turn two. Mm -hmm. He's got that. He's doing well. It's like you said, they don't really do the whole. Uh, they don't really do the whole rampant growth thing anymore. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I mean, I've I've played a bit with um, Hour of Promise, and those decks tend to play some form of rampant growth effect. Here comes old Ripjaw. It's a lethal attack. Yeah, technically. All right. Double block here, more than likely incoming. You think so? Oh, yeah. Oh, right, 4-5, not 4-4. Four, four. Right, right, right. A removal spell would spell disaster. Mm -hmm. Construct is going to stay. Heart of Kirin will go away. Ripjaw Raptor will allow Rob to draw a card. There's a rootbound crag. Big boy. Play the big boy. Yep, there's Carnage Tyrant. 
That thing ain't no joke, folks. We'll take a look at Carnage Tyrant. We don't see it a ton in standard, but we might if Rob keeps this performance up. This deck does look sweet. And I, and I have to assume if their team is 7-0, his deck at the very least has contributed a reasonable amount to their success. Yes. Being 7-0. If they were 5-2, and two, you know, it's a coin flip on how, you know, he might be 7-0, he might be 2-5, and five, mm -hmm. you know. But 7-0, like, he has to be doing reasonably well. Uncounterable 7-6 Trample Hexproof is the Carnage Tyrant. Is that it? That's all it does. <laughs> That's it. You're very difficult to impress, I see. Wow. Uh, History of here from, from Collins. You know, the, the trampling damage is going to hurt a little bit. I don't, I don't think it's quite lethal yet, even if he attacks with both. They're getting darn close, though. Mm -hmm. What's this? Some that cost six. <laughs> <laughs> nope, even more. Nine. Nine. Woo oh, Nissa. Boom. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's dead. Oh, <laughs> shotgun to the face. Yeah, he's no, got to be dead, it's right? It's five fives. It has to be lethal. Yeah. What's he, what, what could he have? Yeah, he's got to be dead. Fog? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Holy day? Well. Nice. Rob Vainman is going to win game number one here over Collins Mullen. Teamer Dinosaur is up a game over White Black Aggro in style with Nissa, Steward of Elements, oh, going ultimate. Feel good. Yeah. That's, that was, gotta, that's a nice one. Well. We are going to try to top that. Uh, Rob is putting on a show here at 7-0. and We take a quick break. We'll see you back here for more dinosaurs in just a sec. Back, Senator Phillips, Todd Anderson, ready to watch game number two between Rob Vainman and Collins Mullen. Vainman put on a little show for us a few minutes ago with his Team War Dinosaurs deck. Oh boy. And for Collins and his sideboard, uh, well, he does have some things that are nice two Duress, two Golden Demise, two Fumigate, two Angel of Sanctions, two Doomfall, two Fragmentize, two Treasure Map, and he settled the records that Rob was playing around in game number one, though Collins doesn't have in his main deck. What do you, uh, what do you like here, Todd? Um, I'm honestly, uh, I don't know. It, it can go either way. Uh, I was actually just reading over Rob's sideboard, trying to figure out what Admiral's orders was. Uh, as far as Collins Mullen's sideboard, I, I like Angel of Sanctions still. It doesn't die to Sweltering Suns, which is nice. There's a lot of very large creatures from Rob's side. The Angel being able to exile would be good. Uh, Fumigate seems fine. Even though Rob is a Sweltering Suns deck, he has a bunch of large creatures that Collins might not be able to naturally deal with. Uh, and just having that as a backup is not terrible. Doomfall, you know, most of the creatures that Rob are going to play, uh, Rob is going to play, are going to be large 
uh, four and five drops. It's not great against Registrar Alpha, but what is? That's know, true. It's just a good card. Uh, you can also hit it out of his hand before he plays it, which is important. We so. go to Rob's side with his four Death Gorge Scavenger, two Savage Stomp, two Negate, two Admiral's Order, which is the raid counter spell, along okay. with two Heroic Intervention, two Thrashing Brontodon, and a Silent Gravestone. You know, I should have known what that card did because I have seen it very recently as an answer to Settle the Wreckage, mm -hmm. which is awesome. So uh, from his side, uh, you know, assuming that he thinks Colin still has Settle the Wreckage in his deck, he might actually bring in Admiral's Orders, okay. which, you know, could be okay for stopping things like Cast Out Mid-Combat or, or something like that. Uh, it's also just Cancel for three mana, so it's not bad. Um, I don't know if he wants to be the Control deck or the Aggressive deck, so... It's, it's kind of up in the air. Thrashing Bronodon could probably come in. Um, it's it's not a bad one just because he's seen Heart of Kieran, you know, and, and, and cast out Thopter Arrest, those kind of cards. And, and Seal Away. Sure. He's seen them all. Yep. So, um, so yeah, I like uh, I like Thrashing Bronodon. I'm not a huge fan of Heroic Intervention, though if Collins wins this game on the back of a Fumigate, you can bet your hiney Heroic Intervention is going to come in. Well, those are your options there for both players. Both players taking a look at six cards right now, by the way. Little mulligan time. Notably, uh, Z Joe Zappacosta mm -hmm. took down game one against Todd Stevens. Todd Stevens uh, notoriously has a very bad affinity matchup game one, but then games two and three, 14 cyborg cards or something. Yeah, come he's in. probably got a ton of goodies, Just right? Kentuckys and pride mages and all sorts of good, good, you know, anti affinity stuff. And there is a scrap heap scrounger to get this game started for Collins. Thunderherd Migration, revealing a ranging raptors here for Rob Vainman. Let's get that one up on the screen. You want to take a look at ranging raptors? Yeah, man. Always. I think it's three mana, two, three, and rage. You get to rampant growth, if memory serves. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good blocker out of this deck. Uh, it would have been very nice to have uh, if he did not have the uh, Thunderherd Migration, just because it can block and help get him to that point where he can start casting his bigger stuff. Mm hmm. Uh, this is not like a, you know, normal dinosaur deck. You know, it's not trying to fight over and over again. Um, like, it does have, like, some copies of Savage Stomp in the sideboard. Does it have any in the main deck? Um, it does not look like I it. I did not think so. Going to go with Reckless Rage instead. Yeah, so, I mean, people tried out, you know, various dinosaurs within Rage right when it first came out. I believe Michael Majors had a Ranging Raptors, uh, like, hyper fight dinosaur deck <laughs> on the Versa series, <laughs> like, right when they spoiled... Uh, uh, that set. He's trying to trying to beat up his own dino. Yeah. Also good when one of your lands enters the battlefield tap. You know, you have something powerful to do on three mana. That's true. That's true. There's our ranging raptors on the battlefield. There for Collins. He's got the knight, the scrounger, and four mana. Four mana is a good spot in his deck to be able to play a card. A couple other things as well. Even if Collins has a white permanent here to to boost his Knight of Malice. He, uh, Rob actually just has the choice to, to use his Ranging Raptors as a Sakura Tri-Builder. Just block, let it die, go get a land. Yeah. And that might be good enough. Well, Collins will not be attacking. He'll just play another copy of Knight of Malice and simply pass the turn back. Sweltering Suns. Sweltering <laughs> Suns. And I get a land. Ha-ha. Oh, here it comes. Oh, boy. Ooh, baby. This is actually a fine attack if he has a Sweeper or a Registrar Alpha. Double, Double block. first strike. Oh, you only get one, though, right, from mm -hmm. combat damage. Same way with Ripjaw Raptor. Well, perhaps Rob is making that attack because he really wants a land. And now if he's sweltering his sons, it's kind of a free roll. Bye-bye. Yeah, there is sweltering sons. Now, Collins did leave up two mana, so he is going to be able to bring back that Scrap Heap Scrounger and apply some more pressure yep. after getting swept. That's why it's in the deck. And good card against removal. Now here is your Scrounger activation. Knights of Malice will be exiled, and we'll go back over to Collins, who needs something good to do this turn, honestly. Yeah, something like a, a Karn would be pretty sweet here. Uh, Heart of Kieran or... Uh, uh, history of Benalia, all very good follow-ups. He need he needed a little more pressure. The Doomfall getting hit there with the negate. That's a that's a big deal. 
No, we saw I've the attack for three in the Sheffield Oasis. Sheffield Dunes, excuse me, before passing the turn back. Here comes a big boy. I don't know what it is. It better be big. That's all this deck does, right? All right. All right, Ripshaw Raptor is big enough. Fine. That counts to me. No, it counts. I mean, it's something that uh, Collins has to deal with at some point or, you know, like he's just forced to chump attack into it and that that lets Rob draw cards while taking damage. You know, it's a very good roadblock if uh, if Collins doesn't have like a thought to arrest or, or something similar. Let's go back over to Collins now. That's settle the wreckage. Well, he brought it in. Rob did play around that card a lot in the first game. Collins never had it, and he doesn't know the deck list. So will he run into it this game? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he plays super disciplined and just doesn't run into it at all. You know, he expected game one, didn't see it. You know, Collins seems to be more on the aggressive side than most of these white decks that you've seen. But, ooh, that's a nice one. Nissa is looking good in this matchup. It's also an insanely good card if uh, – well, that's, that's not – oh, it ticked up. Yeah, it ticked up to okay, scry okay. two. I was going to say, it should come in with four. But uh, So he scries two. He's going to draw one in the next turn, probably zero, and get a free uh, card onto the battlefield, mm -hmm. which is nice. But it, once the matchup becomes more about Settle the Wreckage Fumigate from Collins' side, a card like Chandra Torture Defiance or now uh, Nissa are just so much better than they should be. Oh, here comes... Oh, that's actually a pretty nice turn. Yeah, that's fine. Two for one, spend your entire turn. You hit Nissa for a little bit, so he might not get the free card now. Mm -hmm. So that is a big deal. Because it was Scry to leave both on top very quickly there from Vainman. Mm -hmm. Now Rob will draw. I'm oh, sorry, hits it for four because of the Chef at Dunes. Take a look at the top couple. Oh, geez. I would not feel good if I'm Collins. Yeah. Keep them both on top. I mean, a lot of times with Nissa, the play pattern is keep both on top because you want to zero to put the other one in uh, onto the battlefield. Mm -hmm. I feel like Rob has an abrade here. Like, he has some instant speed way to protect the Nissa. There you go. There's the abrade. I think his last card Sweltering Suns, too. And uh, if he zeroes and puts in, like, a Ripjaw Raptor, it's, this is bad news for, for Collins. <laughs> You are busy predicting the future, my friend. Well, he left both on top. Nissa was at four. It's, you know, it's not a gift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an educated guess. Yeah. It's Fire Bluff Canal is the land there for Rob. We head back over to Collins, who on Rob's end step will exile a creature from his graveyard to get back the scrounger. And now we go back over to Collins. And there's another copy of Scrap Heap's Scrounger. You do see an update in our middle match. Todd Stevens, Joe Zepacosta. They're all tied up one to one. So perhaps we'll have some time to move that way. But if we can, we'll be moving over to Legacy to watch Jody Keith as there is a Sweltering Suns to clear away these knuckleheads. And it looks like Jody just won his Legacy match two games to zero. So Turbo Depths does it again. Nissa is going to scry too. Just a great deck. Jody's version, you know, I, I want to talk a little bit about it uh, if, you know, since we're not going to get to see it, but I really like his his version. Hey, he's got a, it's, we call the deck Turbo Depths, but he's taking a much slower approach to the deck. Just want to point out, Rob did not attack, playing around, settle the wreckage, but also just keeping his Nissa up to six uh, against the, uh, the obviously returning Scrap Heap Scrounger. It always feels bad. To exile a Scrap Heap Scrounger to bring back a Scrap, scrap Heap Scrounger. <laughs> it's not my favorite play, that's for sure. As this is going to maybe continue to climb up. Yes, up to eight. You only need six to ten them, right? Oh. Ha! He did bring in Heroic Intervention. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. One on top, one on bottom. There for Rob Vainman hmm. with the scrying. I feel like he needs to be a little more bold in the dark, just zero. Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he's sitting so pretty right now, I think he can take a sweet old time, honestly. Yeah, for sure. Mullen will draw. He's got Settled Wreckage and now a mystery card. May have been Karn. I believe it was a Karn. Karn here, uh, it looks okay. You know, he doesn't have mana to cast the Karn and the Settle the Wreckage, so he'll put shields down for a turn. But he's not under lethal pressure just yet. Mm -hmm. uh, 
but you know, if Rob expends a lot of resources, let's say he minuses Nissa for six to try to kill the Karn, for example, um, you know, he could do it next turn pretty easily. Uh, and there is no threat of the Settle the Wreckage. Karn going to go over to Collins' hand. Doomwake will be exiled for now. We'll go back over to Rob. Rob with that Nissa with eight counters still. Let's see what this is going to be. Commune with the dinos. Top couple of cars. Landor Dinosaur. That's like all his deck is, right? Lands and Dinosaurs. <laughs> Lands, Dinosaurs, and Commune. Well, there's Regasaur Alpha, so that answers that. Commune with the dinos is all done resolving. All right, so uh, Regasaur Alpha actually gives Rob enough power to kill Karn without having to minus the Nissa for six. So that was actually a very good draw. Oh, he's doing both. How much can he attack for? I don't know. I hope he has another giant dinosaur. That's what, 10, 13, 17? Alpha can't go face yet. It does yeah, not give it doesn't itself doesn't face. Yeah, doesn't have haste itself. So it's not quite lethal. And I, th I still think his last card Sweltering Suns. Yep. That's... Hmm. And maybe just wants to cash it in before it gets hit with a... You know, I don't know. Hit by a uh, exile spell, like a cast out or something. Well, it's interesting, right? Because we're going to see an attack here for ten, I think, over to Collins, and these two creatures might take, might, might just take out Karn, even though Collins has another Karn in hand. So maybe that's not great, and just saying, you know what? I'll deal you seventeen. Yeah, put him to three. It's probably fine. With with a register alpha in play. Sure. I mean, he has another card in hand, so yeah, attacking the card, that's like six life. All he has to do is spend four mana to, to get it back, basically. It's not a bad turn. No. Nope. Attacking for 17 rarely is. And I'm curious to see if we'll see him go right back to playing around Settle like he has been the entire match. Not just the game, the match. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, would expect, uh, I would expect him to. It is pretty close, though. I mean... Especially, like, let's say um, Collins minuses the Karn here and just passes turn. You know, I, th I think that you have to respect um, the Settle the Wreckage a little bit. So maybe you attack with two creatures. But it's really hard to, to give up, you know, on board lethal. Well, Collins tipping his hand a little bit, actually, but I think that's fine. You know, if he's leaving himself no creatures or whatever. There's a good chance that Rob here just attacks with a token. Just a token, right? No yeah. need to attack Ripjaw Raptor or Regasaur Alpha. Yeah. If he thinks he has it, you know, <laughs> it's messed up because Collins only has one in his deck, and he just, I mean, he drew it, and he's been holding it the whole game. <laughs> but Rob has been playing around it for two games, and it's only been in the deck for half of them. <laughs> yeah, he's literally been playing around the card for two games, yeah. like you said. And it's, it paid off big, yeah. big time. You know, he never lost that Ripjaw Raptor. It's drawn multiple cards uh, through, like, Sweltering Suns and, and such. It's pretty incredible how much he's played around this card. Yeah, now he put Collins in a spot where he's in super chup block mode. Now, this doesn't even seem like a situation that Karn can get Collins out of. Let's see what this is going to be. Cycle Shelter Thicket. Draw a card. Burn spell. <laughs> oh, boy. He's tap. Oh, boy. That's a lot. <laughs> ah, com combustible gear hog. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll draw three. Well, yep, draw, definitely draw three. Third herd migration among them. We might have a deck tech coming in front of us here, folks. <laughs> Get Nick on the phone. Yeah. Oh, Galta. Galta, okay. You know, I'm pretty sure he could have just cast Galta. He chose instead to play Thunder Herd migration. That should show you how powerful <laughs> Thunder Herd migration yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> How about Galta instead? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this, just in case for a little later. Assuming there is later. Yeah. If there is a later. Collins just has one card in hand. He has a draw step and an activation of Karn, but they have to be two really good ones, or else Collins just gonna get the dud. This, this is turn. a thorough beatdown. Dude, dinosaurs looking <laughs> nice. <laughs> this 
This was a <laughs> thorough beat down. Dinosaurs are looking good. <laughs> Playing around settle the records the entire game, too. Or the entire match. Yeah. That's where you could have gotten a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, but didn't need to. Didn't need to. Uh, good spell, bad spell. I'm going to go with bad spell. I wonder how this deck is against blue-white. You know who has haste next turn? Galta. Galta. Yeah. Yeah. You know what Call absolutely has to do next turn? <laughs> Hold up four mana. <laughs> Just 100% for the rest of the game. Yep. You have to hold up four mana. Just make them think you have it. Otherwise, you lose to Galta. <laughs> and, and everything else that's going on over here. It's so big. Why is it so big? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's fine. Show him who you are, Collins. It, it can't block. I uh, know. You know, he's he's got to get the, the fatal push up in there. Draw a card from the Rip Draw Raptor. Oh, yeah. I still love it. No, he's going to go. Well, fortunately for Collins Mullen, Todd Stevens won the modern match, two games to one. Collins getting hard carried. Co yeah, Collins, just get on the back of the squad. That's why it's a team tournament because he was getting.